Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are doing a review of Seal of Bigelow. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my another video of them, I actually did their fragrance review. This is the Elixir Blue. I will link that up here right now. Uh, but in today's video we are doing a bunch of products from their Bath and Body collection. So they sent me this really cute product, uh, the box and everything. I also posted like a entire unboxing video on my TikTok that I will put up right here. Uh, so yeah, there's a bunch of products in here and I have been trying them out like for a couple of weeks now. So I just want to give you guys like a, my honest experience of them using these products. So um, let's get started. Let's start with this body lotion. So this body lotion is called uh, Musk, I think that's how you pronounce it. So um, first of all, I just really like their cute packaging and everything. It looks so cool. So this one has a uh, Two types of oil, grapeseed oil and as a brush oil and pentanol. So uh, it is very, very uh, like moisturizing and perfect. And one thing I would say is this is something I used to experience a lot and I have to say you can tell very, very like easily when you use it. There are some body lotions that are kind of like cheap or just like not well made. They smell like very very strong and it's almost kind of like feels gross and like when you put it on your skin It kind of feels more greasy than even like just blend like really absorbs into your skin So this one actually really really absorbs into your skin and actually the smell of it is very very subtle Like it's not bad at all. I was just gonna show you guys with my like little bit of the hand like You guys see it looks very very dry it's not greasy at all so um and smells very refreshing this reminded me the time that i actually we went to hawaii and like in the hotel they were using like this similar kind of uh body lotion that was like very refreshing smell but it wasn't also like overly used because i think body lotion is something that you're gonna put in your body and if you're putting your entire body or like back or chest you don't want it to have like super super strong smell because that's gonna linger and who wants that you know next product we're gonna talk about is another the same uh probably um the smell uh but it's a body gel uh so or body wash you would say so this one has coconut oil and aloe vera it smells really really good as well yes and very refreshing so this is something that i really like because uh it, unlike many like body wash that you would use you have to use like kind of a lot to cover many areas but this one is like you can use this for quite a bit you can use like a little bit but because it gets this the water it gets very soapy and you can cover many areas of your body so that you don't have to necessarily like pour like so much because with gel sometimes like some body gels you have to put so much and I have experienced this myself too so like just keep pouring, keep pouring so you can cover more areas because it doesn't really get soapy or it doesn't really cover much but this is very very different. So I know this is something that like maybe we are not going to pay attention so much uh, since now the pandemic is slowing down but I think regardless of pandemic is slowing down or not I think it's always good to you know be always hygienic and like keep clean. So this one is a hand sanitizer that has 70% of alcohol and it it's like very, uh, it looks like a hand cream to be honest when I first looked at it. But one thing I really like and I want to show you guys is that like, so you guys see it looks very, like it's very um, liquidish, right? And personally I was like, oh my god, like if it is liquidish, it's going to be so sticky and everything. Like it's not going to be good. Like I don't like those hand sanitizer, but look at it. Like I'm going to, like it's already dry. It is already try not sticky or greasy at all so that is something very very different from any like this kind of hand sanitizer i have used like when there's something very liquidy they tend to be like so sticky and it doesn't dry off and you feel even more gross than clean so but this one is dries very fast so it's perfect for it to go you can just put in your pocket or not put in your pocket, put in your bag, no probably put in your pocket, put in your bag or your uh, wherever you go that so you can have hand sanitizer when you need it. Another one, just so you can keep your hands moisturized because Seal Bigelow really cares about that. So this is a hand cream. Uh, I really like this one because this has 
two types of oil and also shea butter. So shea butter is already moisturizing. They even use shea butter for like lotions. Most of the lotions, when you look at their ingredients, they actually have shea butter in it. And this also has avocado oil and olive oil. So let me just, I know I put so much stuff on my hand, but I do want to show you guys. So it's not like, yeah, it's very small dispensed and you can just cover it. In terms of the smell also, again, it's very easy to apply and absorbs very fast. It smells very much like lemon. I really like that. Uh, I think for men, personally, I don't really like hand creams or hand sanitizer that are like super, super, I don't know, it has like fragrance. It's just not my type cup of tea, I would say. So another thing I want to mention, almost all of their products, they always put like their main ingredients in the center. I mean, the front versus like people put in the back and you have to go read it because obviously there are more ingredients but the main ingredients they put it in the front I think that is so important because people really do want to see what is the main ingredient in the product versus just going back and like reading it it's just, who wants that and who obviously has time for that this product is lip balm uh, it is called menta and it's 100% natural mint so you guys know I'm a big fan of just mint I love mint chocolate, I love mint everything, mint tea, mint medley, everything mint. So I also like that for my lips as well. So because mint is like so refreshing honestly, but I remember my sister was saying like it's like tastes like toothpaste. That's her opinion, but for me I really like it. I would say this is perfect for to go. You can just put it in your pocket literally and apply it. I think for guys, this is like perfect. Moisturizing, smells like mint, tastes like mint too, so yeah. The favorite part, this is the cologne that I really wanted to try because uh, I, last time I reviewed the Elixir Blue and this time, uh, but in the video I was saying that maybe I might not like the black pepper, so they wanted me to check it out and see how it is. So this one is uh, Elixir Black Pepper Cologne. So let's see how it is. I would say I really like it. It's not as sweet as I thought because it said I think it has vanilla in it, um, vanilla scent. And I just thought like it's not, it's gonna be like super sweet for me and I'm not gonna like it. But I really like it. Like I, I think this is also one of the like CEO's personal favorites. So um, great. Uh, these are all the product guys. So uh, I just want to share my personal opinions about them and how I like them each one uh, for a particular reason so I will link them down below also I want to share with you guys I still have my coupon code uh, put it right here so if you want to purchase anything from sale Bigelow that you can save some and yeah I'll see you guys next week with another video